Guys, this is Mast, and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today, we're playing some Guan Yu in the Soul Lane as part of the A to Z. Guan, at least up until this patch, has been a very meta Soul Lane or been very good at the moment. He did just get a nerf. I believe the only thing that got nerfed is his uh, Prot Shred on passive. It went from four stacks to three stacks, which is actually a pretty big nerf. Um, but he's also still like probably completely fine. I would assume he's still very good. He's just a little bit, a little bit tuned down now, a little less extremely good. Because right now, solo meta at the high end is basically, let me think, Herc, Guan, I, I, I can't think, Vamana, there, there's more, but there's only, there's only a few and Guan's one of them. So he's very, very strong at the moment. We're going to have to deal with this counter, by the way. Very, very easy for Surter to press two on my face and cancel the three. So we'll see if we can, if we can deal or not. Pretty good three there, got a lot of value out of the shard. Gonna have to sustain up a little bit. So I'm greed building. Right now, the meta build has been uh, a very common transcendence guan, which is basically temporary greed to get you into a stronger late game in a, uh, in a spot where it's pretty easy for soul laners to just need some, some damage. And guan does have enough potential scaling to make it actually worth going for that. Should be fine if he goes on me. Yeah, he's gonna tend to continue having that three counter for me. But as long as we can just kind of eat it and deal, we'll probably end up being okay. It's just going to be a little bit tricky. We got to try and if I can somehow avoid the stun, that'll be good. A lot of time we probably just can't. But we're getting poke on him and stuff. What's he? Yeah, it doesn't have any pots left. Should be looking pretty good. But yeah, Guan very good at the moment. He does have some very much counter matchups. He has some matchups where he counters other people, some matchups where he gets very countered. Yeah, if he's doing that, we're going to have a good time. I am going to run into an entire minion wave, so we got to chill a little bit. But normally when we're getting that stun down, we're going to be pretty content. Okay, don't quite gotta be killing here. Gotta look to disengage in just a sec. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get the two down. Yeah, Surter, very strong early game. So he also, he's able to cancel my three, which I just kind of rely on for everything at this stage of the game. And then also he's already a bully. So we're gonna have trouble early on. As we get a little deeper, we should be okay. I'm also greed building. What's he building, by the way? He's not greed building, so. <laughs> Wanna watch out for that. Got the hitbox on that so fat too. We're gonna TP back in just a sec. I want to get a little bit more money if I can, because I want to get a health chalice. Because I am going to need some sustain with this build. Hopefully Merc's chilling. I don't have stuff for this, man. I don't have the stuff for this, my guy. I got absolutely nothing for you. I'm trying to let him know. I'm hoping he's fine. It looks like he's fine. Yeah, I really do. Really do just have absolutely nothing. Give him a little heal. Get insta-canceled yet again. <laughs> Whenever we get our ultimate online, if we can ever catch him without his ult, I get to farm him real hard with my ult, which will help. Let's see, I think she's basically getting this, but we'll just kind of hope. I don't think I, I don't think I die here or anything. Oh, I almost got it too. Yeah, not much we get to do about it. They have a jungler. They have the jungle secure with the starter item and everything. That's kind of rough, and we lose out on some minions too. Although not too many minions. Yeah, unfortunately, I try to tell him not to gank, man. That's kind of troll. Because if he doesn't gank there, then he's able to beat a blue buff on time and not be low. And then we just get our blue buff and everything's good. And instead, we're just kind of losing health bar, losing blue. So that's unfortunate for me. It's going to make life a lot harder right now. We're going to be totemless. We're going to be blueless. We're going to have no mana for a bit. Eventually, we get transcendence online and then who cares about blue buff or anything other than farm. But right now, it's kind of rough. Do get a level five here in a sec. He's by tower, so it probably doesn't matter really at all. But... Something that we can maybe look to take advantage of. I shouldn't have bothered wanting there. We're so, so oom. Um, gonna be tough to do much. So let's go ahead and talk about Guan Kid a little bit. Guan Passive is gonna be this little thing you see down here. We get up to 20 stacks of this. It's kind of hard to measure stack per stack unless you're looking at the actual passive meter that shows it, or passive icon, I should say, down here that shows it. If you look at this, it's not super easy to tell, like, exactly or anything. You know, see drops turn into, like, full-on blood. See? No, we're not gonna quite be able to kill. If I ult him right away, he can just ult no problem, and we're just ult trading. If I two into the ult, we're probably still just getting his ult anyways. We gotta get him pretty low to actually have kill potential there. And ult trading doesn't really particularly matter. If anything, I think I actually care a lot more about my ult than he cares about his ult, because his ult is basically just, oh, I'm in trouble, it's ult, but normally not particularly great in fights, whereas my ult's actually really good in fights and good if we get in trouble. Ours will be a lot more versatile than his. But yeah, our passive is uh, it's pretty much just a boost. 
You gonna eat this? Not quite gonna be able to kill there. It's too bad. If he goes on me, he dies. Yeah, almost, man, almost. Go ahead and finish clearing that off if we can. So hopefully I get a sustain back up. We got some totem. If Merc's able to gank, this guy's free as hell. Naturally mid is here. <laughs> Naturally mid is here. Hang on, hang on. Do I ever get here, man? No. That's too bad. Yeah, I tried. She went through the FG wall. There's not like, there's not some magical way we get a canter there. And then Daji showed up and just straight up one shot the man. Yeah, that's too bad. Alright, let me dip on out. Man, things are not looking... Charybdis is getting farmed. Yet again, blue buff gone. Nice. That sucks, man. I do think that's actually a good fight on Merc's part. It just kind of didn't quite go well enough. So, so yeah, yet another blue buff we're going to lose. Life's going to be a little rough for us. See, so yeah, that Guan Pass, we're basically boosting our abilities. The way that it works is up until we get the full 20 stacks, it's doing a solid nothing. And then once we get those 20 stacks, whichever ability we use is going to be boosted. And it doesn't get consumed the way that, like, Fenner passive does. Um. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize he still had the ult tick on him, man. That's troll. I'm assuming that was like the last ult tick, right? It couldn't have been there for much longer. Yeah, I didn't want to give her a chance to blink. I was assuming. I don't think we knew if Dodgy blink was down or not. But yeah, little little bit troll. I didn't know. Still won't last like five seconds. All right, let's get stanking. Do we get a stank off that? I guess I don't get a tell there. Yeah, can we stank? We can probably stank off his minion, right? I would assume it works that way. I'm not totally sure. So yeah, when we do actually have passive, we can just kind of spam stuff. And we're trying to basically either be uh, taking damage or dealing damage, right? Do I need to play more Guan right now? I think taking damage counts, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we can just kind of be like super enhanced. Boom! Enhanced heal. Boom! Enhanced dash. Like we can just kind of spam stuff. And once we've basically been out of combat for just a little while, we'll run out of that passive and it's no longer all enhanced. But those enhancements are really good. So we get 1.7 times healing on the one. We get bonus slow on the two. We get bonus prot shred on the three. And then we get bonus slow slash stun on the ult. So all those enhancements are really, really strong. And then it's also worth noting it's like by tick of damage. So our three on its own will almost... It's weird. You can actually see part of the dash, but it didn't actually cancel it. Um, our three on its own will give us almost the entire passive. Because we get so many ticks of three. Well, really, maybe not almost all, but, like, we get a lot of stacks of it. Is what I should be saying. You gonna hold this? There we go. Should be able to play it just fine under here. Yeah, if he wants to dive, we should be chilling. I got TP to come back. Hopefully, I'm not getting instant dodgy gank. Looks like she's mid. Do I get a stack off you guys? I do. <laughs> Wait, that might be big brain, man. Do I bait his ult and then kill the minions? Is that five head? Let me see if I can get my blue buff. Did he go to invade it? Because Najee's mid. He, he didn't invade it. We're good. Finally a blue buff. Look at that. Yeah, the boys are struggling, man. 03 Merc, 04 Charybdis. Is not the look we like to see. And specifically, every kill they have is on Najee or Huyi. Who both of which can hyper carry real hard. So, yeah, might be might be a spooky game. We'll see if we get to do much about it. All right, we're going to go back for part of regrowth right now. Regrowth really good on Guan since we have some healing that we can use pretty often for that move speed. Do this. Probably get a word. All right. So uh, moving on to the rest of the kit, the one for Guan, very simple. It heals. It heals very little at rank one. It's actually something that a lot of time is going to be bad to use at rank one. Um, it also has a really good auto cancel on it. So that's something you can look for sometimes. If you want to do a little auto reset with your one, you can look to do that. Ah, uh, is he goof this? Yeah, are you just goofing? I mean, we can dip on out. No, don't fight it. Yeah, just chill. Just chill. I thought he was going to go crazy for a second there. My stinks. Yeah, now as we get a level in it and we have passive there, like with, with no passive rank one, we are healing for 20, assuming we're not anti-healed. With passive rank two, we heal for 68 there. So very quickly, the heal is getting better. Um, where 20 to 100 and then 1.7 times bonus healing with the passive. 
So early game, it tends to be fairly irrelevant. A lot of time you do want to put a level into it at some point, but like a lot of the time you might want to level like by level five, you might just want to save the level, get three in the three, one in the two and one in the old a lot of the time because you're getting so little healing. If you're trying to use it overall for like actual healing, for example, if we're not keeping passive and I heal 12 times, I basically heal for a health pot and I use 600 mana, which is about four mana pots. So <laughs> So like mana to health wise, very expensive ability until you're getting it leveled up more and very expensive if you're not getting the passive value. So let's move on to the two. The two for Guan is a fairly quick dash that does damage and it slows. Oh, and another thing I forgot to add with the one because uh, it's not relevant yet. When we heal an ally with this, we reduce their cooldowns by one second and we reduce our cooldowns by two seconds. Important thing to note. Very important part of the ability is just not very relevant for us yet. Um... And a similar thing with the two. So the two does damage, it slows, and then if you dash through an enemy, it resets your cooldowns by two seconds as well. Probably don't want to commit too hard. We don't have a full tier three defense item. In general, this realistically should not be great fights for us with the build we're going at the moment. Damn, that Crypta sure is tilted, huh? I'm gonna ult this. Oh, <laughs> I, guess I, I guess I'm not gonna ult it, huh, hi res I'm not gonna go on him. I'm just looking to get that farm without dying. Oh, I waited just until the pants wore off the deal. That was troll on my part. Do I get this in time? Oh, he barely reaches it. That sucks. I don't think I entered here. You committing? Am I gonna kill? Oh, you don't have stuff? That's too bad. And there's a cab. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really do want a little more farm if I can greed. I would love a level 12 here. Doesn't look like I get agreed. We'll get one more ward, because it seems like that ward was pretty nice. Feed your brains out and then one F6? 16 stacks, Devos, Charybdis, 07. <laughs> Tashi's come three times already. What happened the other four times, man? Clearly this is a support jungle chasm. We'll just ignore the other four times. <laughs> this guy's been salty since lobby too, man. I don't know. I don't know what's up with him. I don't know if he's just edgy as hell or if he's actually mad. But like he was talking shit in lobby. I think we're just gonna leave her be and go on the others. Oh, should be a good ult here. Nice, we had everybody too. Please don't pull me, thanks! Trying to do what I can here, man. It sucks I don't get to her in time. Let's get to dipping. Okay, why do you still have this? <laughs> we juked out. <laughs> oh, the heals are gonna go crazy. Yeah, we do some damage, by the way, with that prod shred. Look at that. A little auto reset off the one. Nice. Really good fight here with Skipper. Which it is Skipper on still, by the way. Nice. Let's go, man. Yeah, we kind of farmed him right there. Sylve is having the best game. No, Sylve sucks. Didn't you hear Charybdis? <laughs> Charybdis knows, man. Charybdis knows. This guy out of my game. Clearly, it's a support diff. It couldn't possibly be an ADC diff. We got John2102 over here. Okay, I am trying to... Wait. Wait, do I get two? Oh, thanks. I was gonna say I'm trying to do some totem, and then like he kind of let me do some totem. Can I actually trade this a little bit? Turns out having a defense item it makes this lane a lot easier. We're also scaling up where our one's coming online, and I get sustain out of that. All right, so I should get back to talking about the kit. Let's hopefully not be murdered here. There we go. We'll dip on out. Let me go get a blue buff too. So back to talking about the kit. Uh, Guan 2, pretty simple ability. 300 base damage, 20% uh, slow. Boosted slow is 40% if we have passive. And then, like I said before, we get that cooldown reset for two seconds if we're hitting an enemy god with it. Not just an enemy. We can't, like, dash through minions and get the two-second reset. Similarly, we can't just heal minions and get the two-second reset. So he does have those fat cooldown resets in his kit if you're using it, like, ideally, basically. Okay, magic defense looking... Jesus, man. <laughs> I was gonna buy, but... Yeah, we're gonna go heartward next, because I think Bob is gonna be chonking. How fed are you? I just wanted to heal the minions a little there. Try and keep them try and keep them body blocking. He's pretty fed. I don't really get ult yet here. 
All right, he's dead. Look at that. <laughs> you really got to take it from me, huh? Really got to do me like that? That's fine. Have some heals. Yeah, the Huyi go off the charts from having the freest lane known to man. Started building Griffin Wing third item, too. Got to put him in his place. Yeah, let's go get a full heart word real quick. So we can move on to Guan 3. Guan 3 is a 10 tick ability that can be canceled by most CCs, but it is not. Let's see. Do we need beads? I'm just going to hope I don't need beads. Dajiel might farm me, though. Um, it's knockback, knockup immune, silences, stun, stuff like that'll still break it. Dick every 0.3 seconds for 3 seconds, you do up to 600 base damage, which is a ton. You do up to, I believe, 150% scaling. Is it two? It's 200% scaling. Um, so 20% per tick. Oh, that's awkward. Don't think we're getting a kill here. Yeah, so much CC from the cab makes it hard. I was originally hoping we'd get our moment. Do get ult in a sec, so if we end up having issues with Daji, should be alright. Do we need to do anything? I'm trying to force stuff. They're going on Daji over there, which is fine, but it's meaning we're not going to get the help that I want otherwise. Do we need to kill you without ult? I think I got ult. Nice. Getting to do some stuff. Getting to try and not be murdered. Oh. Forgive you, master. Eh. Nice. Get them heals going. Yeah, with the three, we also will steal protections. And that recently just got nerfed because it's been ridiculously strong. Was I in the silence there? I, must have been, I, I pressed two and it didn't go off. I'm assuming she had the silence thing on her one. Uh oh. <laughs> Is Dodgy have ult? Do we need to be scared? Is Dodgy about to just absolutely clamp us? Looks like not. I guess we'd probably be fine anyways. Literally just give Scylla some... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Charybdis is on one, man. So yeah, we will prot shred with our three as well. So per tick, we'll steal up to 10 prots at max rank. Um, and if we have our passive, it's boosted up to 15. Please! Nice. Don't know if this is remotely good. Might just be inting, but I'm kind of content to see what happens. Mine. All right. Uh, If I can? Yeah. I think that might have been a little much there. We can go for tower if they want. Uh, let me defend this. I don't have money for an item anyways. We should just TP on over, I think. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense for Guan 3. And then the other thing to keep in mind is that you also, uh, you steal those protections. You don't just shred those protections. So you're actually t making yourself tank here. And I believe it is both prots, right? Like, obviously you're only physical damage. So, like, for your for yourself, it's only fizz prot that's relevant in terms of, t like, shredding that. But getting both is good. I guess we can tell right now, right? Yeah, it is both, because they both fell off. And you do get it off minions, by the way. You can three minions and get more prots. What matters What matters is giving yourself those prots when it comes to the minions. Naturally, naturally making the minions squishier, probably not your biggest goal. But that is something where, like, even if you're not hitting the enemy god and you're just, like, hitting minions in a wave, you are going to make yourself tankier. Kind of like Chalk 2, where you can just Chalk 2 a wave. Carib just going for the gank? I want to see what happens. Let's int a bit. <laughs> Let's get to inton. You stopped, bro. <laughs> I was so excited to see the Charybdis in action, man. That was a bad ult on my part. He's gonna ult there anyways, and we don't get a catch. Which I didn't think we get a catch. I think you got no. We got we got bigger things to do, man. Like I res I respect the ambition, but I don't think it's worth. Like they're pushing a Phoenix down here. Yeah, they are they are pushing a Phoenix down here. Okay. Where are we going? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you wanna come get heals, man? Come get heals. Come get baby heals. We don't have passive. Don't have passive or kid. I am probably gonna be going uh, Caduceus last item, by the way. Is that what it's called right now? Caduceus like Scepter or something like that? Whatever the heal buff item is. Probably get some of that. So the final thing to talk about is Guan ult. This ult has up to six hits, I believe. I think it says somewhere in here. Does it say in here? I think you can get up to six hits. Um, if you fully left click the entire time, if you just hold down left click or whatever the equivalent is for console, then I believe it's up to six or it's up to five. And then normally if you don't do that and you're just trying to actually get it like as soon as it'll let you, a lot of the time you'll only get one, you'll get one less. So something to keep in mind. If you are just freely going to be hitting it, you kind of just want to hold down your left click or whatever the equivalent is. 
but you can right click at any time to cancel it whenever you do cancel it or when it expires you'll get a stun at the end of it for that last hit and you're also getting a little bit different damage so the way that it works hang on let me pull it up the way that it works is you're getting uh 175 base at max rank what's the scaling on this 30 ish percent 35 percent something like that probably 35 percent um, but then you're increasing your damage per hit. So this ability, not only can you get a ton of hits out of it, but you can increase the damage as you're going and just chunk somebody. I did the math at some point. I don't remember what it is now, but the base damage should be like 1500 if you land the entire ultimate on somebody. And that's just the base. You can also get a lot of scaling on that. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm just absolutely losing it on that. I mean, I can do math real quick. And it seems like it should be about right. Somewhere out there, like 13, 14, 1500, something like that. If you're getting every single hit and scaling that damage. So capable of hitting very hard, but it's a long channel that you don't have a ton of control over. So dashes, jumps, stuff like that are, are very capable of getting out of it. I want to just make sure she's good and then we'll go in. Run this Baba down if we can, but I don't think we can. I mean, I can, but then like I get no follow up, so it's not worth a lot. Yeah, I was hoping if we could stick to her hard enough and keep teammates around that we could just kill her there. That is a fat Silvolt. I'm so silenced. Oh, I am so silenced. I'm just sitting. On, you guys gonna hear me like trying to get the ability off? So troll, man. Oh, good try. Let me at her. Can I stop being silenced, man? My God. Dead. Okay, I think if they're down to big FG, I think we can just do that. Merc went mid, but hopefully he comes back. Yeah, pretty sure who he's going to take long enough to get here. This is actually pretty... Brother, please. <laughs> Merc, Merc just backed, man. I I don't know why. Merc just backed. <laughs> help with pyre! <laughs> like, Scylla came to help. I appreciate that. Merc back so we don't get to do it. <laughs> and Scylla started backing on the pyro. So troll, man. So, so troll. But she came back, so it's fine. But yeah, if we had to if we had to do that on our own, it wasn't gonna be happening. That sucks. That should have been a fairly free fire giant if Merc wanted to do it. And he wasn't super low. He's like half HP, if I remember right, he would have been fine. We have Sylv heals in my heals too. Like it would have been it would have been absolutely fine. So that's unfortunate. That should have been pretty easy. Pretty unlikely they get to steal that. Gonna get a full sigil plus this. Chonky bank right there. Look at that. Yeah, we're sitting around 250 of each prot now. So, yeah, if we do want to get a little CAD to top off our healing. Yeah, Caduceus Club. Get a little power. We get HP. We don't get prots. We do get some cooldown. And then we get just bonus healing is going to be the big thing. 30% 30, 30 bonus healing, pretty big deal. Don't think they're on it unless he's just deleting it. Cab's in mid. Hui's not on it. Yeah, we're good. I'm not going to worry about the wave. Uh, Baba? She sure did just walk on in. I'm coming. Oh, you already used the ult. That's too bad. Should be able to clean her up myself. Yeah. Yeah, and there's that ult right there. So right there, we got five of those hits. She mitigated a stupid amount. Oh, they actually did do it after. That's too bad. Surprise, they did it without Baba and Cab. Not really a point in going any farther. Yeah, whenever you go for those super late game gold furies, it does always leave that risk because we had like pretty much our entire team other than me and Merc, everybody's in that left side jungle. It's too bad. And now we're in trouble. It is hurting a lot right now that uh, our ADC is trolling. <laughs> it is hurting. It is hurting quite a bit that our ADC has been trolling. Because she like split pushed through that and then banked. That's where we're getting engaged on. Which like isn't a, you know, she's 092. It's not a big surprise that she's trolling. Yeah, unfortunate, man. We're gonna try and do that. Which we probably don't get to do, unfortunately. That is a very dead Scylla. <laughs> Wait, no, no, please! <laughs> get your wiggle in! Y'all be a little greedy. Only a little bit greedy, I'm dipping. Only a little bit. Oh yeah? Ow? Oh my god. He is doing that ADC thing, huh? Oh! Didn't think we'd be living there.
Unfortunate, man. If we have an ADC, this game's very different. Oh, I tried to get that heal off in time for him. That's too bad. Actually canceled my three to heal him there. Eh. Nah, I'm a chunk. Bombed. I'm so slow. Did the bomb do anything? Hold up. Let's go. <laughs> Mitigation put in some work, though. Yeah, I mean, that's we we did a good job on the Guan. We we didn't have an ADC, unfortunately. Oh, don't report the ADC. Oh, oh. Well, if she doesn't want us to, I don't think we should. Yeah, this guy, he was so weird all game, man. He was he was like this in the lobby and in the pregame, too. Just, I don't, I don't know, he's just a weirdo. He just seems really, like, mad about, I don't know, something? Real life been treating him bad? I don't know. Nice, we actually got pretty good healing, considering really so much of the time we spent in lane. This is actually quite a bit of healing for a very short amount of late game. But, but yeah, that is our look at Guan in the solo lane. Unfortunately, we don't get a little bit of a better game than that, but but at least we got to do some things. <laughs> Didn't even end up dying, man. Skipper went 9-3 and three on support, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, we got so much impact, man. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.